Morning guys, welcome back. <coughs> uh, yeah, a bit of a, an apology first up, just for probably a bit of a, a week hiatus between videos. Uh, yeah, we just, uh, on the last one we, I spoke about we were going to head away for a few days and I had actually, had actually started um, on another video uh, the morning we went away actually and um, as things do, everything got pretty busy and a few things went wrong and yeah, anyway, so we actually didn't end up uh, doing it and yeah, so I just thought we'd not worry about it and start afresh. Ah uh, yeah, so no, just a bit of an update. Well, one thing that I've, I have been lying to you, I've been neglecting, uh, yeah, back in the gym. Uh, I'll just, where's the light switch? Oh, that's better, you can see what's going on. With harvest and that, it's just been a bit hard to do a morning gym session just because just the time of the day didn't really allow it. So, just a quick show of how I sort of built this little room and it sort of doubles as the kids have friends over, they can come out here and watch movies or, yeah, have a party or whatever. Uh, reverse cycle, so heated and cooled. So we've just got a spin bike. Um, and mainly just free weights. There's a um, few cables and that there, but the bulk of it is free weight weights, sort of deadlifting and that sort of stuff. I've actually, I'm actually subscribed to a uh, performance coach, which is a few different levels, but at the moment I'm just at the base level, so it's just sort of 25 bucks a week, and yeah, it's just through an app like everything else nowadays. Um, and yeah, Ben just. Uh, sends through a, a program each day and you just just follow it it's just a generic thing but you can sort of communicate with him directly um, when I did the Fink Desert Race last year um, I was on his oh, his race ready program or whatever it was if you don't know what Fink is um, google it there's plenty of footage on there um, it's in Alice Spring Central Australia just a oh it's a 400 and 60 odd K um, round trip, uh, yeah, both uh, cars and, and buggies and side by sides and, and then motorbikes as well. So, so yeah, I sort of got onto the, um, ben, La, ben Greenwood's his name, got into him last year um, and just through social media and signed up and yeah, so it's just, it gives you a bit of, um, just something to follow rather than, um, yeah, just trying to wing it all the time, so. Anyway, so no, I've just, I'm still in my gym clothes, I'm just, yeah, not having, not having done it for a while, I'm a bit, legs are a bit sore, so. Anyway, uh, yeah, so, I don't know which way, I've got the sun behind me. So yeah, a bit of an update. Uh, so we watered the loosen again. Uh, Tom started cutting it yesterday. We took the jewels off the, off the big tractor. Um, we, we can put the magnum on the mower as well, but um, I'm sort of getting organised to uh, put the boom spray on it to start summer spraying. Um, I've got the local case dealer coming tomorrow, hopefully, uh, to do a 3,000 hour service on the on the magnum. So that'll be all the, all the fluids, final drives, all planetaries. Um, yeah, transmission oils, all, the, all everything. Um, which haven't been done for a while, so uh, I just thought it's about that time. It's yeah, um, and hopefully we can find out what's going on with that transmission alarm, whether it's just a sensor or a loose wire or something. So hopefully it's nothing major. Uh, yeah, so cutting hay. Uh, Brendan, I spent yesterday shifting seed around, uh, grain home from around the other farm just for for when the seed grader wants to when he comes, um, just to grade seed for, for this year's. Um, sowing or planting uh, so yeah uh, sheep update we those um, ewe lambs that were on auctions plus um, that was a bit of a fizzer um, yeah it's the sheep I don't know the sheep job's got a bit of a guts ache at the moment um, uh, for whatever reason we ended up I think we averaged about 230 uh, five dollars or a bit less um across the two lines um 
which given that their sisters back in October made we sold them for 310 um, yeah it's it's come back quite a bit I've buggered this up because I'm walking into the Sun and I can't see I'm walking along with my eyes closed and it won't won't make very good footage uh, yeah so so yeah we've taken a bit of a hit there um, I suppose just in comparison to give you some comparison on on last year when we the store sale in January that we usually sell them and it didn't happen this year they made three hundred and sixty dollars so you know we've come back roughly what's that hundred and thirty dollars year on year which is it's a lot when you're talking over you know three hundred heads so um, anyway it is what it is um, yeah so but and it's I still can't really get my head around it because um, they're still making good money at slaughter like the ones we like a slaughter price direct to the to works at the moment seven about seven dollars fifty seven dollars eighty thereabouts so you know the the weather portion that we sold three weeks ago direct abattoirs you know they've they've come out at you know 200 and so uh 200 and twelve dollars twelve two hundred fifteen dollars i think so they're still making good money um to eat so but the store job just seems seems to be um yeah back a lot like you can buy reasonable you know 35 38 kilo trade lambs for around that hundred dollars a head now so um if we you know if we wanted to we could we could go and buy four or five hundred and you could quite easily pick up eighty to a hundred dollars on them so um it sort of has crossed my mind but we're the end of january where we start lambing um the first of april so um yeah so it's sort of times we sort of need to start and build that feed bank a little bit for so we've got green feed to lamb down on with the ewes um yeah anyway so we've got a got our agronomist coming out um this morning um just to go through the cropping cropping plan and what we're gonna what we're gonna sow this year uh yeah so and yeah we're starting starting to get a bit of this gear um blown down and washed up and back in the shed so uh we'll, oh, another thing we had jeremy out from dickens ag um in my whale yesterday the trimble and gold acres guys in there and we're actually swapping the boom spray over to isobus so we'll be able to put any of the three tractors on the boom spray rather than having to swap monitors we can just plug it into the back of the tractor and and it'll come up in the operation of the boom spray will come up in the, the screen of the tractor so that'll make it a bit easier now if we have a tractor break down and at sowing or whenever we can just swap the track swap a tractor over whether it be the little the little fence or we did have it on the boom spray last year at times so um so yeah uh, we can we can sort of alternate it between the tractors if if another tractor's tied up doing something we can we can swap it over so that's going to help the job a bit so yeah so no just planning and yeah cleaning up for from yeah the headers um we generally hire what we do we hire a big um 100 and whatever it is 200 cfm compressor from minute the high place in in town for blowing the header down at um at the end of the year um yeah so we, we need to pull the uh, the adapter out of the center of the windrowing front um i'm not going to put it back in the other uh, big front just yet because we had um yeah I, I spoke earlier on one of the other couple of other videos earlier on if i can get it out uh yeah just uh the retractable fingers inside that after what they call the rtd that drum um had a bit of current a bit of a coronary so we've got a bit of damage there on that drum that we need to we need to fix so uh, anyway we we can we, i won't bother putting it back in because it'll be a bit easier to fix it uh yeah with it out so anyway uh i'm gonna go and have some breakfast and uh yeah we'll uh, i need to go and have a look around out the back so we'll we'll come back to you shortly
has got a bit of a knock in it <coughs> back when we were doing the silage it's got the the reel on the front of it and there's a couple of bearings that went in the track that makes where the reel spins and anyway we just got bearings from the local bearing shop and they're not 100% quite the right diameter so there's a bit of movement there so it's just knock 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 as the reel's going around so I probably need to have it where things aren't sort of time critical we probably need to um yeah get on to Macdon supplier and see if we can get the proper bearings that run in the end of that reel so uh yeah anyway it's machinery it, yeah is what it is. Uh, little logs riding shotgun this morning. We might kick her out because every time I open the door, she wants to send an hop out. She wants to hop out as well. So, uh, yeah, we'll go out and have a look at the sheep around the back and see what we can find around there. Okay, well, I'm letting you down a little bit with the content here on this one. Uh, yeah, I've been in the office again a fair portion of the day. We had a had a uh, ag agronomist came out this morning and we had a bit of a, a round table with a bit of a starting work on the cropping plan for this year and what pasture we're gonna sow so yeah that consumed a, a couple of hours um, and yeah we just as I sort of said earlier we've got our farm business guy coming Friday so we're still mucking around getting figures and um, Sarah's getting the book work up to date and we've sort of been working on that together a bit and um, yeah just trying to play with numbers and round all the numbers up and yeah so anyone that anyone that's got their own business or that sort of stuff knows there's a yeah it's it's there's a, a bit goes on behind the scenes uh yeah tom brendan came out till lunchtime he had to go at lunchtime so we yeah tommy came out and took over we've got the the loose and cut um got the rake on the track that the boys will someone will get that raked in the morning I'm actually away tomorrow um, yeah I've got uh, coming a nephew's uh, birthday party um, so yeah just gonna uh, a couple of hours or hour and a half away so I'm gonna jump down and get in and, and catch up with some family that out of Melbourne that I haven't seen for a bit so uh, yeah so that'll be good um, what else are we up to oh yeah we've um, <coughs> just <laughs> I'll show you we're just um transferring a bit of water actually we just before we went to go away the um we we ran out of house water uh we had it well it was a, we've got another tank tank there that we're able to switch it over to but with with having a pool um over the summer you get quite a you lose surprisingly lose quite a lot of water out of it with out of it with evaporation so we've uh yeah so we had to just our two main house tanks were more out of water so anyway so what i've done is we'll just run a just a temporary line across here we might um going forward i think we'll, when we get to this area setting it up i think we will actually um run this get a trencher in and trench this this pipe in so we can do this so i've just got a transfer pump here and there's um this big tank 110 thousand litre tanks um yeah full so we'll just transfer a bit of water over and put a tank of fuel through the pump and that'll probably be enough to it was 20 mil while we we're away so the tanks would have some water in them now uh, so yeah but that's just a, a juggling act of yeah um everyone probably needs to have shorter showers too which should, which should help uh so yeah but anyway but no so yeah the, we're a bit lacking for content on this one i had to go and deliver a load of straw to some neighbors that um that's where we do a lot of the contracting work, the dairy farm, a load of barley straw and got halfway around the other farm and forgot the GoPro. So um, that makes it a bit, bit tricky and it's, it seems to, seems to be better footage on the GoPro than on my phone. I'm sort of working out, I'm still trying to nut out what the best way to do it is, but we're, uh, yeah, well, I think we're winning. I don't know. Um, anyway, so, but we do have a new member to the team uh i've got three ladies that are very excited about this this member uh this little fellow so before we sign off we might go and introduce him yeah so the new team member <laughs> billy <laughs> billy the cat <laughs> chief mouser so. okay. 
The girls are been over to the RSPCA refuge today and Wangaratta. And Wangaratta and got a new kitten. First cat we've had, so uh, yeah. Fingers crossed, he goes all right. So, uh, nice little kitty. So, uh, Sarah used to have cats as, as she when she was younger, so we'll see how we go. Alright, it's pretty yeah, lively as most kittens are. But yeah, new team, new team member. I'm a bit scared. Just trying to work a bit, get a bearings and uh, get used to the surrounds, but yeah, yeah should be good. Alright all, we'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.